next guest needs no introduction because he's so well known as a Food Network host, a James Beard Award winning chef, and a restaurateur, and a cookbook author. But we'll introduce him anyway because it's only <laughs> polite, right? He's here to share dishes from his eighth cookbook, Simply Simon Suffers, Recipes and Menus for Every Week of the Year. Please welcome Chef Michael Woo! Simon. Thank you. Oh, you guys make me feel really good about myself. I appreciate so important. that. We so tried to. I feel relatively important. So this book is really fun because we basically did 52 weeks of meals. Mm. So, and it essentially, if you guys came over to my house for dinner, this is how we eat on the regular. That's so we an put invite, the whole right? Absolutely. <laughs> for open invite. A lot of people know here know where to find me, so you will have no problem either. So it's... Uh, we put the full meals together, and including holidays, it's 52 weeks of eating. So oh. this is a simple one that I grew up with. It's called American goulash. Okay. And it, they also call it American chop suey, American dish. But this was one my dad was like, I'm going to cook tonight. Oh. Kind of so, thing. So this is, we can all make this. Dish. We can all make it. So this is popping a little bit on us, but we have ground beef uh, frying up in the pan. I'm going to add onions okay. to that. And I'm going to add garlic to that. Is this a and family thyme. recipe right here? No, this is, I think this is just my dad trying to make something fancy. I have a Greek Sicilian <laughs> mother. So, so my, she could cook. Like, insane cook. <laughs> so she would be like, I'm going to make bolognese. And my dad's like, well, watch this. You know, I'm going to throw all this stuff in the pan. And so it's kind of bolognese-esque. So you okay. get the onions and the garlic cooking with the ground beef. It smells so good. Tomato paste. One of the keys with tomato paste is once you put it in, give it a stir and let it kind of brown a little bit oh, and really? get a little rusty colored because the sweetness comes out. Oh, okay. you want to kind of caramelize. Yep. And then oh, wow. we add in, this is a good tip so you don't get it on your nice shirt. Turn oh. the spoon over, pour the tomato over it. It That's will not cool. splash on you. That just that changed genius. my whole world. See? I mean, I don't wear nice clothes, but you guys look fantastic. So, <laughs> And then we give it a stir, and it simmers away till it looks like this. Nice. All right? Ooh, so yummy, you can see yummy. how beautiful so this is. Yeah, nice. it smells nice, too. And I cook some pasta ahead of time to make it easier for us, and I <laughs> save the, reserve the pasta water. So you got to put that starchy pasta water in there. Okay. Why, That's why the, the pasta magic. water, not regular water? So because when you cook the pasta in the salted water, it releases starch. That starch then helps thicken your sauce and mm. give pasta all the body. Okay. Like any good old school Italian cook always uses that pasta water in their sauce. That's where the magic happens. Okay. Ah, good to know. You could just you could turn that off. I think we're good. And then I'm gonna once the pasta goes in. We hit it with the parm. Tons of cheese. We give it a yeah, stir. Yeah, that's not like a small serving of cheese. <laughs> no, no. I am of the, you know, let's bring all the cheese to the table kind of situation. That's great. So you just stir it in, and you just have a very simple, get it on your table, fast pasta. Look, my dad, not quite the cook my mother was, and he used to make this for us. It's simple. It's delicious. You can feed and the kids, fast. and that's feed what the it's kids. about. Also, Absolutely. most of us don't have time to cook, so something quick is right. really important. Yeah, you could get this on the table in 10 minutes or less. Nice. So I'm going to put a little bit in a bowl, just in case yeah, you put a little more cheese try. on the top. Little, I used all the cheese. <laughs> oh, you used all the cheese. And then, ooh, watch this. Because okay. this is a little rich, I'm going to show you guys how to make a very quick, delicious salad. So in okay. the pan, I have onions and garlic. To that, I'm going to add some almonds, and we're going to okay. let those start to toast up. And then I'll put green beans and yellow uh, beans on top. Mm. And this is a very healthy one because oh the doc is behind me. I see it. <laughs> and we're going to make a fast vinaigrette. She Red wine comes vinegar. Here when the food is she's no, oh, she's good. <laughs> Dijon mustard, and okay. if you want to grab the whisk. Just, oh yeah, sure. And then we always go two parts fat to one part acid, and that's how you make a very simple vinaigrette. Wait a minute, two parts fat, fat to one point. The fat is the extra virgin olive oil, the acid is the vinegar, and there you go, you have a Ooh. vinaigrette. Okay, I have to ask you, because you actually dedicated this book to your grandkids. Yes. Why? Um, because they are awesome, and I love them. I, Emmy and Butchie, uh, they are almost five and Aww. almost two, and Emmy, there she is. Emmy's with Lizzie and I right there. So, mm. Radicchio, you take that green bean vinaigrette and wow. you put it right on top, and you have a fun, warm, healthy salad. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate mm. it, Michael. And Simply Simon Suppers is out today and available everywhere that books are sold and for today's recipes. Just go to our website, goodmorningamerica.com, or scan the QR code on your screen. Again, thank you, Chef. We appreciate Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here. 
to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.